Hello my friends, it is Caddy and Christy and I are back with another episode of our Obsessed series. This is actually going to be the last one for this collection. We're using the Paige Evans Fancy Free Collection. These are the papers we're working with. It's the one with the little squares, that background, which looks kind of like a watercolor. And then uh, the yellow one, which I cut those letters out of in my uh, silhouette cameo. So I used the paper with all the little squares uh, with the different pattern papers to actually uh, fill in the back of these letters which I cut out from my cameo. I got those from the cut shop. Um, so we are scrap lifting the wonderful Missy Wheaton this week. Um, and we are, uh, we love this layout from her. I did kind of switch it up a bit. I didn't do, you know, a exact scrap lift of what she did. Um, but I, I used her idea of just having that big title with the big letters. Um, and I'm actually gonna end up using two photos because um, the way I wanted my letters to kind of lay out, um, I wanted them to lay over the lighter part of that paper. So um, that's why I kind of moved them around like that. And then it only made sense to kind of add another picture on the top. So um, that's what I did. So yeah, it's not an exact scrap lift, but definitely um, uh, inspired by Missy. We always are, she's awesome. So as so, uh, a fourth paper, Basically, we said we could just choose whatever paper we wanted. So I'm just going to use some papers that we've used in previous episodes and just map my photos with them. I will map the photos first on black. So I do do that and then add a couple layers of papers behind it. I do want to apologize for all of the nonsense going on to the right of my screen. <laughs> um, I got a new desk and when I put down my camera, I didn't realize that um, you see that whole area over there to the side. So. Um, yeah, I need to get that figured out and, and get it in the right place. So I will do that. <laughs> As you guys can see, Chrissy and I are not posting this on a Wednesday like we usually do. Uh, we were a little bit behind. I especially am a little bit behind um, since I got back from vacation. So um, we decided to just push back this last episode a little bit. But um, but yeah, but we'll be back soon with another season. Uh, we're probably going to take a few weeks off, um, just chill, and then we'll come back and have another series for you guys and uh, not another series but another season of the series <laughs> and we're actually going to mix it up a little bit for the next uh, se uh, season we're going to actually instead of focusing on a collection that we love we're going to focus on a fellow scrapbooker that we love and um, try to like mimic their style and um, it's going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned because that's going to be coming very very soon so here I am just like I said I backed those letters um, that those letters I cut out uh, it's a font from the cut shop and the top part of it is open so you can actually fill it in and I, I think I did something wrong when I cut it out because it didn't they didn't cut out properly and I know it's not the cut file I know it's me because I'm not very um, familiar with my um, silhouette as much as I need to be so um, yeah but I got it to work so uh, yeah, so I just filled the backs of those and then I just added those layers of paper and I'm just gonna add a few simple embellishments from the collection um, here from the ephemera pack so I added that little adventure there to the left of my page um, and then just a few bits and pieces here and there um, in the end there are going to be a few things that do get cut off which is just basically me adding black ink splatters and I also take a black sharpie fine point pen and I actually go over or actually trace all of the letters so that they pop a little bit more because they weren't popping off the page as much as I wanted them to. So I do end up doing that. So you'll see that in the still shots in the end. And now uh, the pictures I'm scrapbooking are two pictures from our recent trip to Hawaii. Um, this was actually on uh, Maui. We were in Maui when we took these. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I loved um, this photo of my boyfriend and I and then uh, in the photo you can barely see the background so that's why I thought it was fun to add the actual picture of what we were standing in front of and it was just a beautiful view um, off the coast of Maui um, it was just really pretty so I wanted to add that photo there and um, the title not all those who wander are lost <laughs> it's just something that I think is a fun title um, it's actually a funny story because uh, everybody in our family we went with the family uh, they were all kind of frustrated because we just wanted to drive around and kind of see the island and see you know just really get to know the island so they were all kind of frustrated and they all kept on asking if we had a destination and where are we going and what are we doing <laughs> so you know my boyfriend and I kind of like to wander and we like to 
um, you know, look around and, and just basically see the island. You know, we can actually say we've been to Maui because we drove around the whole island. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it was just something that was kind of appropriate for this, especially this day, because this day we were driving um, on the, um, what was it? The west coast of Maui. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like an, an area where it's, it's kind of dangerous to drive down that area because the roads are very windy and they all turn into one lane roads and it's just kind of crazy but it was fun and it was nice and we enjoyed it so yeah <laughs> and i love these pictures so this is awesome to be able to scrap my hawaii trip um get started on that so yeah so i'm just kind of uh, fidgeting here fussing around with my picture and the placement of that little um adventure die cut um and i'm using some twine not twine some thread as Missy does uh, that's like her signature thing the, the thread so I did add a little bit of um, blue or I think it's teal thread in two areas of my layout and yeah so I did add those hearts from the um, glitter puffy words uh, pack because Missy did add the hearts on the I think she added it like on the O's in her layout so thought it was really pretty and I did that as well thought about adding some green uh, thread as well but I don't end up doing that um, and I will fuss around with that thread quite a bit <laughs> until I kind of get it uh, how I want it to look so yeah just uh, cutting up some embellishments here adding a few little bits and pieces here and there um, and I will keep this pretty simple it's not going to be too complicated but yeah the only thing you guys are basically going to miss is going to be the um, the ink splatters and the outlining of the letters and then I think I add like maybe one more um, that little uh, die cut I think it says wonderful day that's sitting under my scissors I will add that underneath the bottom photo so that is it you guys here are some close-ups thank you so much for stopping by today make sure you go check out Christy's video and stay tuned because our new season is going to be coming up very very soon so look forward to that so thanks so much again for stopping by I hope you're having a great day bye